Hey, what's going on guys and welcome back. In today's video, we're going to be looking over all of the Doka B and Doka V that I could find via the game's various trailers. I've also looked through their website and Twitter page as well. So I think we have all of them here, but as always, if you guys find something I've overlooked, definitely make sure to let me know in the comments. If you don't already know, Doki V is a monster taming action adventure title being developed by Pearl Abyss and its monsters take inspiration from Korean mythology. These monsters end up having some really downright wonky monster designs and are reminiscent of a very creative design process. I may do a video in the future breaking down the mythological implications behind some of the Dokubi, so let me know if that's something you would like to see. But without further ado, let's check out some of the Dokubi present within the game. So first up we have these three whom are under this young trainer's command. The one on the most left seems to be some type of rabbit wearing roller skates, which is absolutely hilarious. We also have this rubber duck looking guy whom is rocking a tool belt and a sun hat. And the third one, the one on the right, seems to be based off of hard candy. You know the ones. He also seems to have a candy cane, which I'm assuming will act like a sword or something. In the uh, next shot here, we have this strange pineapple armadillo looking guy on the left. A good old doggo that looks like it's supposed to be maybe a university student or something like that with the sort of tied sweater, you know, cause he's smart. And on the right, we have this bear boy with boxing gloves. Like I've stated in previous videos, the game definitely has some strange monster designs with the monsters almost looking like super realistic in some aspects like Mike Tyson over here, but also very strange and unreal in other aspects. And I'm not knocking that either. I do think some of the monster designs look somewhat comical, but I don't mean that in a bad way. I actually think some of them do look very intriguing and the almost otherworldly monster designs that they went with makes them feel unique. Okay, so in the next scene, we have this character customization, I'm assuming is what this is, and perhaps customization for the Dokubi themselves. Either way, we have this little guy on the right here, whom we don't get to see their face, but when changed, it seems like it's the same Dokubi, just with a different outfit. Here we can also see this red guy with boxing gloves, which makes me think it's a customized version of the bear from before, if not an evolution or something. In this scene, and yes, we are going a bit out of order in terms of the trailers, because I actually am separating the monsters in two groups, but we'll get to that soon we see this cat clown mime looking dokubi then afterwards we see this dokubi which appears to be a child with a clock for a head and of course a big pair of headphones because apparently clocks like to listen to music here we see this pink boar looking thing with a bib. I think this thing is responsible for the bomb that the player is kicking. As you can see, it has this bucket with random stuff in it. So it seems like it's some type of utility Dokubi that will be able to spawn weapons or at least items for you to utilize in combat, which is pretty interesting. Here we get a straight up llama, which might be a mount only Dokubi. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm having a hard time seeing it fight in combat. At the very least, we know that Carl from Jimmy Neutron would be proud. Okay, then we have this screenshot where there's a ton of monsters on screen from this one based off of what looks to be a Korean sushi roll to this deer looking guy then we got what looks to be another dokubi based off of candy a couple of other deer based ones some type of yellow lizard whatever this thing is a hungry hungry hippo uh, I can't tell if this one's sentient but it looks like we could have a dokubi based on drums and then we also have a few robot ones which I do want to touch on separately alongside the boss ones because I'm not entirely sure if every enemy will be obtainable in this game or not we see in the trailer that there are some robot creatures attacking as well so I thought I'd just cover them separately alongside the bosses just in case they don't end up being obtainable so first up, we have this one, which was featured in the original and recent trailers and seems like the most featured boss so far. It seems to be some type of creature made up of various construction materials, such as metal piping, pylons, concrete, and more. I do believe that these creatures will be obtainable though, because as we can see, the player character is trying to use a vacuum on them before they ended up getting slapped. We also get some more robos from these clips, which seem to be somewhat generic. That's why I'm not sure if they're catchable or just basic enemies. We also get to see some smaller robot enemies that act during this aerial battle. If you pause right at the right frame here, you could also see that we have a rat robot looking thing. On the beach, there's this rolling ball thing. I'm not even sure if this is a Dokubi. It does perhaps look like an armadillo or something to that case, just rolled up in a ball. Then we get this lizard boss, which I think is really cool. And if I were to guess if this game has any legendary equivalent, it would definitely be this bird. It looks super majestic flying the way it does, almost very eerily as the player character looks tiny in comparison to it. 
But yeah, guys, those were the Dokubi I could find so far. I'm sure more to come, but these are just a couple of trailers and we've already been shown quite a few. So I'm very interested to see more. And honestly, with some of their designs being downright strange, again, they are very intriguing. I'm excited to see more and I'm even more excited to play the game. Anyways, if you do want to stay up to date on Doki V, definitely subscribe to the channel as I will be keeping you guys updated on all the latest information as soon as humanly possible. Just wanted to say special thanks to our patrons who have been supporting the channel, especially our mythical backer being Steelcase. We will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Peace out.